This is a response to a recent NIP submission by Tamar Broderick, Diana Kai, and Trevor Campbell on edge exchangeable graphs and sparsity, in which Broderick, Kai, and Campbell make the false claim that they're the first to introduce and develop the basic theory of edge exchangeable models for network data. And in just a couple minutes, I'm going to present the history of the idea of edge exchangeability from the time that Walter Dempsey and I first introduced it in work from April of 2015 up until uh, the time that I make this video on, on November 19th, 2016. And the thing I want to stress about this timeline is that Tamar Broderick has known about our work on this topic since at least March of 2016. That's when I first contacted her to inform her of our previous work and to point her to the appropriate references. And I've actually been in contact with Tamar Broderick several times since then to try to resolve this matter privately, but those attempts have been unsuccessful. Uh, so even though Broderick and Kai have known about our work on this since March, they have continued to present this material at conferences, in seminar talks, in their NIPS submission, and as I understand it, in private communications, as if the idea originated with them. And even within the past couple weeks, Diana Kai has uh, posted a YouTube video in which she advertises some of what she'll discuss at the upcoming NIPS conference. And throughout that video, she repeatedly says that the idea of edge exchangeability and some of its basic properties will be introduced in the Broderick Kai and Campbell NIPS article. And, I, and we'll see in a couple minutes, uh, a couple moments, just why those those claims aren't true. Uh, but before I get to those details, I want to say that I don't normally make videos, and I certainly wouldn't want to make a video like this uh, under normal circumstances, but I felt the need to uh, in this case. As I said, I've tried to resolve this matter privately with Tamar Broderick on several occasions to no avail. And at this point, it really goes much beyond making sure that Walter and I get the credit that we rightly deserve for having introduced and developed these ideas. That certainly is important, but there are much more important issues at stake here. There are the issues of honesty and integrity, and I hope that you'll just consider the facts that I present. Please draw your own conclusions from it, and by all means, do share this video with anyone who would find it relevant or interesting. So here's a timeline of the development of the idea of edge exchangeability from the time that Walter Dempsey and I first introduced it in April of 2015 uh, up until uh, November of 2016 uh, when I make this video. So we first introduced it in a subsection, section 6.8 of uh, this paper, which was submitted for publication in April of 2015 and posted to archive in September of 2015. And the material from that section uh, was subsequently developed into a more uh, detailed treatment of edge exchangeable models in this March 15th, 2016 archive paper. So that paper provides uh, much more detail and much more discussion of how these models um, apply in certain statistical settings. And a week later, Tamar Broderick and Diana Kai posted uh, to the archive a paper on edge exchangeable graphs and sparsity um, and that's the paper that they subsequently um, submitted to NIPS or a version of that paper uh, which they claim to have subsequently developed uh, for NIPS. Uh, but the, the, uh, the important point about this is that that paper did not cite either of the earlier uh, Crane and Dempsey uh, works and in fact, it, it, it's, a, it's a very short paper, only about five or six pages, and it contains uh, very little substantive content. It claims to introduce this idea and establish the basic properties of edge exchangeability, but um, actually um, there really is no formal treatment of these ideas in that paper. Um, but nevertheless, uh, when I saw the paper, I emailed uh, Tamar Broderick on March 28th of 2016 and I in that email I provided her with the uh, references to the earlier papers by Crane and Dempsey on the topic 
Uh, so Tamar Broderick was aware of our work since that time. And it's really the events that have transpired since that email that uh, necessitates uh, this video. Um, so uh, from the material that they had posted to the archive in March, I understand that Broderick and Kai and a new co-author, Trevor Campbell, submitted uh, to NIPS around May of 2016. And I learned of this material when I saw a presentation given by Diana Kai to the Isaac Newton Institute in July. And I'll talk about more details of that presentation on the next page, uh, but the key, uh, some of the key points is that she presented this uh, material as concurrent work with Crane and Dempsey, when in fact most of the material that she presented uh, although she said it originated in the March Broder Kai paper, most of that material is not in the Broderick and Kai paper, and much of it has a direct link to things that Walter and I had presented in our previous work. Uh, so as a result of this, I uh, got in touch with the NIPS chairs in August of 2016, uh, and the NIPS chairs acknowledged some issues with the initial Broderick Kai and Campbell submission. Uh, in that it did not uh, appropriately uh, cite the previous uh, Crane Dempsey work on on edge exchangeability, uh, which the authors were well aware of at the time that they submitted. Uh, so I was hopeful that the matter would be taken care of by the NIPS chairs at that time. Um, but just recently, within the past week or so, I came across a YouTube video which was posted by Diana Kai in which she highlights what she'll present at NIPS uh, in a few weeks and in that video she still claims that the Broderick Kai Campbell paper introduces edge exchangeability and she doesn't give any reference uh, to the previous Crane and Dempsey work on the topic and this is consistent with what is now publicly available on the NIPS webpage uh, for in the NIPS pre-proceedings um, that in that paper they are still claiming that they in introduced edge exchangeability and they present the Crane and Dempsey work actually in a very misleading way um, and I'll talk about that on the next page. So here's a list of some of the ideas that have uh, been presented in the work on edge exchangeability. So in this first column is work by uh, Crane and Dempsey that appears in these papers posted on Archive in September of 2015 and March of 2016. The second column is the uh, work presented by Broderick and Kai in their March 2016 Archive paper. And the third column here is, is from a presentation in July to the Isaac Newton Institute that was given by Diana Kai and video of that can be found uh, at this link and this is also uh, this is also some material that is contained in the uh, recent submission, uh, the recent uh, release of the uh, NIPS paper by Broderick, Kai, and Campbell, which can be found at this link. Okay, so many of the ideas, as you can see here, were presented over the course of September 2015 to March 2016. Most of them were presented first in the September 2015 paper. We defined edge exchangeability. We uh, discussed its relevance to interaction data, uh, we proved sparsity and power law, and we gave a representation theorem uh, in this work. Um, many of those um, topics, by and large, were not discussed in any formal or informal way in the Broderick Kai uh, March paper, but, the, but many of those ideas did appear and are present in the uh, July presentation that Diana Kai gave to the Isaac Newton Institute and that Broderick, Kai, and Campbell include in their final NIPS paper. Um, so in that work, in the, in the presentation that Diana Kai gave um, to, to the Isaac Newton Institute, she called this concurrent work and she referred back to the Broderick and Kai March archive paper uh, as, as where this, these ideas originated. Uh, but as you can see here, those ideas for the most part are not uh, present in the um, in the original uh, Broderick and Kai paper. Uh, there is in fact a direct link to a lot of the ideas uh, that she presented. Um, there's a direct link to the work of Crane and Dempsey and in a lot of ways the ideas that they present are 
um, a translation of the Crane Dempsey ideas into the language of Bayesian nonparametrics. Uh, so what I should say is she presented this as concurrent work, but but quite clearly our work was finished as of March, and most of it was was uh, first introduced in September of 2015, and their uh, their NIPS paper wasn't yet wasn't submitted uh, likely until May of 2016, and just became final within the past couple of weeks. Um, so. There were also some things that were not present in our paper that they did discuss in their March paper, and some of that uh, has was some of that has been included in their NIPS paper as well. Um, but I will say that in the end, um, the initial Broderick and Kai paper did not cite the Crane and Dempsey paper. The NIPS uh, the NIPS uh, paper that was posted a couple days uh, just recently. Um, does cite the Crane and Dempsey work, but not until Section 4, and they do this, uh, again, in a very misleading way. In the way that they cite it currently, um, they suggest that they introduced this um, alongside of us, and that's just, again, uh, simply not the case. Uh, we introduced it well before they did, and the ideas that they present in their NIPS paper for the most part, have no direct link or direct correspondence to anything in their earlier March paper, but do have a direct link to ideas that we presented uh, previously, but they don't uh, call attention to this. So as you can see, the idea of edge exchangeability originated in work that I did with Walter Dempsey, which we first posted to the archive in September of 2015. And Tamara Broderick and Diana Kai have known about this work since at least March of 2016, and they certainly knew about it at the time that they submitted their paper uh, to NIPS, and they prepared their final version, uh, which just appeared uh, online within the past couple of days. Uh, and in, so in that final version, they still present their, the idea of edge exchangeability as if it originated in their uh, in the Broderick Kai March archive paper, and they still present it as if the idea was concurrent with the Crane and Dempsey work. Um, but in most cases, these claims aren't true. The Crane and Dempsey work was done uh, over a year ago. The Broderick Kai and Campbell work just appeared within the past couple of days, and much of the substantive content in the Broderick Kai Campbell NIPS paper does not have a direct link to the uh, Broderick and Kai March archive paper. So I was hopeful that this, I, this issue would have been taken care of in the final NIPS version uh, as the NIPS chairs Ulrich von Luxburg and Isabel Guyon assured me that it would. Uh, but since it wasn't, since the Broderick Kai Campbell paper presents uh, this work in a very misleading way, uh, I still I felt the need to uh, make this video and so I hope that it helps, uh, and I would encourage you to share this video uh, with anyone else who uh, would be interested in it.